Hello friends, this is Ashirwad again. Welcome to my YouTube channel and in this video we'll learn how to deal with uh, script mod coding in Python. In the previous video we saw how to type code in interactive mod and today we'll see how to type code in script mod. Okay, so just load this idle application again and as we saw in the previous video I told that when you launch this idle application by default you are in interactive mode remember and uh, this idle is a, a utility in python which uh, allows you to type code and you can run them run that code from there only uh, idle is also called integrated development and learning environment so whatever software application allows us to type code and uh, you know it it allows you to run the the code from there only you can find errors or it highlights the errors and in that case that type of software is called as IDE in general integrated development environment and Python calls it idle IDLE which means integrated development and learning environment so just for your knowledge okay so uh, to type code in script mode what you have to do is you have to click on file and new file option so a separate editor is is opened here and as you can see it looks like a simple notepad or any text editor to me and what script mod actually means is that you can type multiple lines of code here and you can save that entire code as one bunch of code and uh, you can give it a name of course and you can execute that code as a whole in your Python system. So that's what script mod uh, means. And it is useful in situations where you are you are writing larger programs where you have hundreds of lines of code. So you have to use uh, this approach for those type of uh, programs. So let's try one very simple program to to see how it works. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to use a print statement first which says hello then right after it use another print statement hi and one more print statement bye for example so it's a very basic uh, Python program but the main thing is that I have is, is to know that I have written three lines in this code. Okay. The next thing is to save this file. If you want to run this code, you must save it first. So you have to click on file and save. I'm going to save it on my desktop for now. And I'm giving it a name as first first dot py remember py is the file extension for all python programs so click save the file is saved and then you can go to run and simply select this option run module or you can simply press the shortcut key f5 to run this program so let's do it so what did you see when you executed your program it displayed the output for all three print statements as you can see what happened in interactive mode was you type one line it, it displayed the output then the other line then the other line this is how it worked in interactive mode but in script mode it executed all of them in one go okay so this is script mod and uh, of course if you want to make any changes here like if you want to add few more statements I want to calculate 100 plus 100 and I want to calculate 2 plus 5 divided by 3 or multiplied by 3 for example 
so now I have five lines of code here okay you have to save it again and you can run it so now just observe the output all five print statements executed in one go okay this is the name of your file first.py and whatever you have written in this file will be executed at single bunch of code so i hope you have understood the meaning of script mod and that is in fact why it is called as script mod because you type a script there and then you then you run the script as a whole okay now one more thing we have to check is what about i if i don't write any print statement and i type simple calculation for example 6 plus 5 here now as we discussed earlier it is a valid python statement when we are in interactive mode okay but should this be working the same way in script mode as well let's check so i'm going to save it and run it so as you can see nothing displayed here although this statement is syntactically correct but since you have not written a print statement here it is not not going to show the output of 6 plus 5 so this is one small thing that you need to remember while you are working in script mod that to in order to print anything or in order to display anything on screen you must use print statement so if you, if you use print statement and the same calculation you save it and run it you will see now it is coming so that's it for this video i hope you understood the concept of script mod and how uh, it is different from interactive mod if you like the content please comment like and share and do subscribe to my channel thank you